Costa Rica is a great place to have an adventure, and Arnal is the place to do it all. We will show you what to do, what to eat, and where to stay. Welcome to our Arnal Travel Guide. Visit La Fortuna Waterfall. This waterfall is 75 meters high and plummets into an emerald pool below where you can have a refreshing swim. It's located in the middle of the jungle just a few kilometers outside of the town, La Fortuna. The cost is approximately $15 US for adult and $5 US for kids. It is a short hike down a few hundred stairs which has handrails and benches all along the way. There are great spots to take photos of the falls from the top all the way down. Make sure you get there early to avoid the big crowds. There are also change rooms making it easy for you to put on your swimsuit. Wear good shoes or hiking sandals plus bring water shoes which come in handy. How was it? Awesome. You only live once, right? Hi, Arenal 1968 Park. This park got its name from the Arenal Volcano Eruption of 1968. A huge eruption that destroyed three towns completely, changing the landscape. These trails give you awesome views of Arenal Volcano and you get to see old lava flows and a view of Lake Arenal. There are two trails here, the Red Trail and the Yellow Trail. The Red Trail is shorter at 2.5 kilometers and the Yellow Trail is a 4.5 kilometer hike and you could even do both. The cost is approximately $12 US and you can choose to do the hike with or without a guide. We decided against a guide so we could go at our own pace. It rains a lot there, so bring a waterproof jacket. Like most places in Costa Rica, you need to rent a car or hire a taxi to get there. And oh yeah, watch out for the yellow snakes. One of the most deadliest snakes in the world. If you get bit by it, like two to three hours later, you're dead. Whitewater rafting is something fun and exciting the whole family can do. Just make sure you do your research to ensure you find the best tour for your family. You can do everything here from calm floats to up to class 5 rapids. There are a few companies out there, make sure you check the recommended agents for kids. The cost is approximately $65 US per person for a half day trip. Ziplining. Our family loves ziplining and Costa Rica is an amazing place to do it. Flying high over the canopies of trees at about 40 to 50 kilometers an hour is exhilarating and experience of a lifetime. This activity isn't as scary as it seems and it's even doable for most people, including me who has a fear of heights. Our daughter was seven at the time and she was able to go on her own and she loved it. The system is safe and the guides are friendly and train you before you go. They assist at every platform ensuring everyone is safely clipped in. The cost was approximately 85 US per adult and 58 US per child. What a brave little girl our daughter is. Horseback riding is a popular activity in Costa Rica and the Arenal region is perfect for it. It's a fun activity to do for all ages and abilities. The average cost is about 65 US dollars per person depending on the length of your trip. You can take trips to see things like La Fortuna Waterfall, Arenal Volcano, or just a nice trip in the countryside accessible only by horse. Tabacon Hot Springs. Tabacon Thermal Resort and Spa is a five-star resort located at the base of Arnal Volcano, located near La Fortuna. And while expensive and touristy, it's an absolute must. It has five natural thermal mineralized springs that are heated by volcanic magma from Arnal Volcano. These mineral springs cascade down the volcano to form waterfalls, streams, and little pools that you sit in, all surrounded by lush tropical gardens. The temperatures range from 72 to 105 degrees Fahrenheit. There's also a man-made pool at the resort with a swim-up bar and water slide for the kids and even the big ones like Dad. The cost was 77 US per adult and 28 dollars US per child for a half day that included a fantastic lunch. Mystical Park Hanging Bridges. This is a beautiful nature reserve which is a fairly short drive from the main town of La Fortuna. In this park, there is a well-marked path that takes you through the thick, lush rainforest and over 16 hanged bridges suspended over top gorges and tree canopies. 
There is so much beautiful nature here with different types of animals, including birds, monkeys, sloths, and snakes. The trail is roughly 2.5 kilometers long and will take about 2-3 to three hours to do as you will likely stop to admire all the animals and beautiful vegetation. An unguided tour is about 26 US dollars per adult and free for kids under the age of 10. You can also do a guided tour that's about 40 US dollars per adult and 14 US dollars per child. It's extremely popular, so get there early! We can hear some monkeys. Hopefully we can see them. They're, they're loud. <laughs> yeah, just like you. What to eat? When you visit Costa Rica, you have to try a soda. Not the pop, but little family-owned local Costa Rican restaurants that are usually small and open air. They serve traditional Costa Rican dishes and they are popular with the locals. Must try dishes include Gallo Pinto. It is a dish of rice, beans, onions, red peppers and cilantro. We loved it so much that we make it at home now. Total comfort food. Eating at a local place called La Tupica. It's authentic Costa Rican food and it is so good. They're known for their like rice and beans. Um, this is chicken and rice and chips and salad and it was cooked fresh. I think it's a family run business and it is so, so good. Costa Rican coffee. We are huge fans of coffee if you didn't already know that and love trying different coffees as we travel. Coffee has grown and produced in abundance in Costa Rica and is one of their major exports. They take their coffee seriously and so do I. And they have won many international awards around the world for their coffee. Like chocolate, you can go to various coffee plantations for a tour. Well worth the visit! Costa Rican chocolate. If you're like me and love chocolate, you have to visit a chocolate factory in Costa Rica. Some even have tours. Cocoa trees where chocolate comes from grow in Costa Rica, so chocolate is made right there in many regions including Arnal. Coconut water and fresh fruit drinks called Pipa Fria known as a Coles Coconut which is sold on roadside stands and on the beach. It's pretty cheap costing between one and two dollars so you better get one. There are also plenty of smoothie type fruit stands at the side of the road to get different types of tropical fruit blended drinks. This is one of the highlights for the kids. You can also get alcohol versions too, but don't tell anyone. We drank tons of these refreshing drinks. Where to stay? Like any country, there are plenty types of accommodations in Costa Rica. There are hotels, fancy all-inclusive resorts, rental condos, and our favorite Airbnbs. What you choose depends on what your needs are. Everywhere we travel, budget is always a consideration, so we find the Airbnbs the best deal. We also like to be entrenched in areas where the locals live, as well as to be able to cook many of our own meals. There are also some great Airbnb options in Arenal, if this is your style. Wake up and there's a guy walking his cows up the street. Gotta love Costa Rica. If you're looking for a place with stunning beauty and plenty of adventurous activities to do, then definitely put Arenal on the list as a part of your Costa Rica visit. There is so much to do, amazing food to eat, and awesome accommodations. We hope we've given you some good information to help you plan your visit to Arenal. And oh yeah, if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, hit that like button for more fun videos. We explore on the jungle today and we could run into some dangerous animals. What's that? What's that you say? What do you, what do you see? Do you hear that?